Hello guys, Arkand here. I am the darkness in the light, the flower on the wall, and the resplendent nightfall. Welcome back to Wild Lips. On the last episode, uh, we spent some time with Marcus. We did a puzzle with him and had lunch. And uh, sometime between that, uh, there was a power outage, but uh, we still continued with the puzzle and had fun with Marcus. I believe this time we'll be spending some time with him in the supermarket because we have to buy groceries. So let's see. Let's continue the story. Day 3 How do you feel? Bad. Did it affect you that much? Okay. We already had this talk in the previous session. You must let her go. It's not easy. Why? We have experienced many things together. Part of our life is something that we cannot forget so easily. But she is gone. You can't keep her by your side forever. We all ended up leaving, like it or not. That's the difference between you and me. I think of my loved ones, those I lose and those I win. We are different. We all are. I see you haven't made any progress. Your friend Marcus is trying to help you out of here. Why don't you try to forget her? Forget that mess. Like I said, it's not that easy. I am scared every time I go outside. It gives me anxiety when I look at the road, imagining that accident. But that night, you went to get her out of the car. Not on time. Lucas, you have to let her go. I'm sure she would want the best for you. We all end up wanting the best for our loved ones when we leave. Wake up. Oh my god, that's so scary. <laughs> Anything else you want to share, Lucas? Time is running out. I... don't... The session ends and you feel your body rise up to leave the building. Oh my gosh, I didn't expect uh, someone would talk. <laughs> I got goosebumps. I got so scared. Oh my gosh. You don't hear anything. Just your footsteps. Just like the voice of your best friend. How's it going? You ignore him and continue your way. I guess it was wrong. Bad to worse. I'm sure he said you haven't made any progress. Exactly. You know I want the best for you. For our relationship. But you have to turn the page and let her go. It's easy for you, but I've become attached to her as if she were my sister. I know, and I'm not telling you not to think about her. Just let her go. Marcus, I... I need to go home. Of course. Wake up. Oh my god! I'm so scared. Ah! What the? When you wake up with a scream, you move your hands all over your body, feeling a slight pain in your chest. What happened? I felt as if I was falling into the void. And that voice. Why? Why am I dreaming with the past? Oh my gosh, uh, the goosebumps from hearing the voice. <laughs> of uh, the, the voice saying wake up, is it's still here on my body I can't shake it off <laughs> you scream trying to get those thoughts out of your brain this is all a fucking headache but that moment with Marcus it was my fault I'm sorry a small tear slips down your cheek you dry it off and get up to go to the shower clothes in hand damn that scene with Marcus is eating my head I have to stop thinking about it Yes, it was my fault that our relationship broke down because of my obsession with Julia, but that's not... Well, yes, I am a jerk. A hot shower will make all that go away. At least, for now. When you finish in the bathroom, you go out and go to the kitchen to have breakfast. The process is the same, a coffee with toast, but you realize that you don't have coffee. Right, I'm going to buy with Marcus, so we spend some time together. Don't think about it, Lucas. Do not think it. 
As you scratch your head thinking about what to make for breakfast, your mobile vibrates. You grab it and your best friend's name appears on the screen. Very appropriate. You answer the call. Good morning, Sleeping Beauty. What are you doing up at this hour? It's 10 o'clock. And you always wake up, if no one bothers you, at 1 in the afternoon. If I'm going to be treated like this, I'd better hang up. No, don't be like that, man. I mess with you a little and you get mad. Who said that I am angry? My specialty, knowing you. Are we going to go shopping or do you find another driver? Straight to the point. I wish you were always like this. I'm gonna hang up. No balls. Oh yeah? And hang up the call. Well, yes, he has. You mean, yes, he has balls? <laughs> uh, yeah, you already said that you've seen it before. <laughs> I'm going to send him a message. Shall we meet at the usual cafeteria for breakfast? Answer a minute later. Um, are you sure? We haven't been back since... I know, but I want to go. Okay, I'll come get you right now. No, go straight to the cafeteria. I have it closer than you. Oh, right. See you in a few minutes. See ya. You put your cell phone in your pocket. Am I ready to go back to that site? After all the memories I'm reliving, maybe that's not a good idea. But how am I going to fight it if not by putting myself to the test? Alright, Lucas. Time to get breakfast. You walk down the street after having put on something else so as not to notice the cold, a t-shirt under a sweatshirt and jacket. You don't notice the cold this time, so you continue on your way. It's kind of short because of the music on your mobile, so you see the cafeteria after a couple of minutes. You don't see Marcus anywhere, not even inside the premises. You still go in. Upon entering, you are not struck by nostalgia or anything like that, since everything has changed. Everything is different. It's not the place that I remember. New boss? Maybe. The mural that some artists made for the place is no longer there. Neither does the table with the pile of postcards from other cities and countries. Maybe I can get used to being here. A couple of minutes pass and your friend shows up. Good morning. I hope you haven't waited too long. I have just arrived. Better, so I don't feel bad for you. You knew this? What? You point the cafeteria. The remodeling? Yes, I come here sometimes for a drink, either with my mother or with a friend. I didn't know. My bad, but I also didn't want to tell you because of, you know. Yeah, I know. The silence between the two invades you, but Marcus does not allow it. Let's order something. It's on me. No, no, no. It's on me. Yesterday, you paid for the food. Now it's my turn. But... Don't argue with me or this will end very badly. Very bad, huh? You wag your eyebrows, implying something improper. I'll pretend I haven't seen it. You approach the barista and give her your order. He asks you to sit down. You choose a table near the window to be able to see the street, the cars, and the people walking. It's not a very pretty thing to see, but it doesn't bother you. Did you want to do anything today besides go shopping? We could take the opportunity to go to the mall, eat somewhere, an afternoon with my best friend. Go bowling, maybe? Cinema, too. You see, we have plans. The thing is to do it. We look at the movie schedule and we'll agree. Maybe we don't like any of them and we are left without the plan. If it happens, we go back to my house and see some that we like. I don't think it's a bad idea, but if you want to do something else, apart from what has already been said, I mean. Like what? I don't know. Maybe a walk in the park? It's a nice day and the sun is quite hot. I know you need it because of the fact that you are almost always cold in winter. I try to wrap up more, but it's never enough. You should put on three sweatshirts and the jacket. Let's see if that helps. I want to beat the cold, not fill myself with sweat. 
You don't move enough to break a sweat. I could run around in circles and it would be perfect. You could, but you don't have that much stamina either. <laughs> what? Nothing, nothing. I think I'd better stay silent if everything I say is going to be used against me. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. You know it makes you funny. Don't try to deny it. Sometimes, I don't deny it. Here comes our coffee, so you get rid of the bad mood for not having slept enough. I'm not angry, and you don't know if I've slept much or not. Your coffee arrives at the table, arriving the smell that you were waiting for so much. You take a sip to try it and feel the difference. Even the coffee tastes different. I guess everything ends up changing, even the little things. The silence between the two is notorious, wanting to enjoy the coffee and the atmosphere of the place. You feel relaxed. The past does not come back to you for now. Marcus watches you after each gulp. Something wrong? No, no. Looks away while you laugh inside. I find it very nice of him. He keeps looking at me like in the old days. That innocent smile, those tender eyes. Enough, Lucas. You don't want to continue in the past because you have witnessed it change. Even he has changed. I feel it, but I don't see it. They are not in plain sight. You are halfway through the glass when Marcus brings up a topic of conversation. Do you know what I remembered today? Does it have to do with high school? Damn, I didn't expect to get it right. Well, you got it right. And I've remembered. Him. Him? You won. Oh. You won. A hybrid boy. Maybe the first in the world. I just remember that he had some problems in his life. But we didn't know anything else because... Well, he left without saying goodbye. I still remember his dog ears and tail. He looked cute. He was very shy. I hope that today he is someone more determined. You're probably wondering why I'm bringing this up. Quite a bit. Because when you left my house, I began to look at the photo gallery. I ended up arriving until those days and the photo we had taken appeared. I didn't remember I had it. It may have been saved in the cloud when I made it. I can share it with you if you want. Yes, please. That boy gave me good times and I tried to help him, but every time I wanted to know about him, he tried to walk away. Even today, I don't understand why. There's no point in thinking about it if we can't talk to him directly. You're right, but I just wanted you to know. That's very kind of you, but you know I can't think about it right now. I understand. He looks away, regretting ever bringing the subject up. You take your coffee calmly, without any hurry. The supermarket is not going to close so soon. Your eyes fixate on the crowd of people, watching them go by as if nothing had happened. Fear does not affect them for the day. Your coffee is running out and Marcus turns his eyes towards you. I have heard that there will be a video game and anime convention in a week or two. The date is not quite decided. Yes, I saw it on the internet. Looks like it will be a big one. I was wondering if you want to go, since we like this kind of thing. You? Anime? No, silly. Video games. If you want to go to the anime section, that's fine. I would like to go. It sounds quite interesting. The last one we went to was a bit small and it ended in disaster. You will say it was you. I was sick that day. Oh, right. Bad luck surrounds you. If so, I wouldn't be having coffee with you. Is being here bad luck or good? Think, puppy. Think. Shit, now I'm going to have to think about this for days. That's what you get for being a curious wolf. What do you want? I am an adventurer. A very sleepy adventurer. Oh, come on. You like it that way. And I don't deny it. I can sleep next to you and feel the warmth of your fur. It's a win-win. 
You are with me and I gain warmth in this winter. Put that way. Don't tell me you're not interested. It is a good plan if we put it into practice. It catches you by surprise that he proposes. Wow, you look pretty determined, mister. After what happened in my house, I have to be. Show who's boss. Good luck. Hey! By the way, we've already finished our coffee. How about we hit the road to the supermarket? You get up, leaving the wolf with the word in his mouth. Do not leave me like this. I'm going to have to punish you at some point. He says as you walk, with him on your back. When you go out into the street, Marcus points out his car. You get in, turn it on, and drive. Only about five minutes, since everything is closed. You arrive at your destination and waste no time getting out of the car and entering. 